the Stream Deck, and Govi products, it's like a match made in heaven. Hey everybody, it's Chris from Family Geekery, and today we're going to be talking about controlling our Gobi products with our Stream Deck. Now, I love the Stream Deck. I use it for all kinds of things. I use it for turning on and off lights, like above my uh, studio here. And now, thanks to an awesome plugin, we can control Gobi products. Now, there's been other things like the Philips Hue that you can control with the Stream Deck, and uh, that, those products are cool, but they're really expensive. Gobi's a little, little bit more consumer friendly and uh, picked up a bunch of different Gobi products over the years. Got some more during the uh, recent Amazon day thing. So just out of curiosity, I just happened to, you know, check the Stream Deck plugin page to see if the Gobi products would work. And sure enough, there is a plugin for it. Now, I knew you could, you know, obviously control lights and stuff like that. But there's more than just these, you know, neat little RGB light strips. There's a bunch of different products that Gobi makes and you're able to control them all right here from the Stream Deck. So we're going to go through a couple and see how they work. So like I said, to get this to work, you need to have the plugin installed in your Stream Deck software. If you've got a Stream Deck already, then hopefully you know where, where to get those plugins. And you just click up in the upper right hand corner of your software, find the page that you can uh, add, you know, I think discover plugins, and then you just search for Gobi and you'll find one, add it to it, and it adds just a couple functionality buttons to it. So you've got a toggle on off type button, you've got a turn on or turn off button, you've got the uh, change the color, you got change brightness, and you got change color temperature. So in the office here where I do the majority of my filming, I've got you know a ceiling fan up here that's got just regular old light bulbs. In fact, it had some crusty old CFLs in there ever since I bought the house, and uh, they were still working, so I never changed them out. But they're you know kind of dull, you know, kind of a really warm uh, white light. And every time I'd go to, you know, shoot a video, especially if I, if I got a monitor in the picture, there'd be a reflection from the bulbs behind me. And I'd have to, like, if I noticed that in the screen, then I'd have to stop, you know, filming, get up, turn off the lights on the overhead, you know, turn off the lights on the ceiling fan, because I've got all the studio lights here. Um, now I can just boom, 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 turn them off right here. So I just took a couple of these and uh, popped these up in the ceiling fan. And now I've got three different lights up there that I can control individually. I can turn them on or off here. I can change the color here. I can have them white or green or a, a warm a warm light. And that's uh, really the brightest one. If you put it on like the warm white, that's brighter than the other ones. But sometimes you just want you know, one light on, sometimes you want two lights on. There's actually one of these, like this one right here, like kind of points right towards me. And then these two point, you know, away from me. So think about like a triangle, you got these two and then you got one pointing right back at me. So when I'm sitting at my desk, um, I can turn this one off and I got nothing in my face, but the room still has light from these two. So that's nice. That's, that's something that you couldn't do with just regular light bulbs, unless you went up there, stood up and <laughs> unscrewed one of the bulbs you know, each time you wanted to do that. So in addition to turning on and off or toggling them on and off, you can use the, uh, the built-in function of the Stream Deck to do multiple actions at the same time. And I've got one button that turns them all on and one button that turns all three of them off. Now when you do this, you want to add a delay in and you can drag a delay into this multi-stack so that it turns one on, delays, turns the other one on, delays, and then turns the third one on. Otherwise, it's sending all three commands to the lights at the same time, and they just can't handle that. So throw a, a delay. I think the default delay is 1,000 milliseconds, which is one second. So you'll see the lights go bink, bink, bink as they turn on and off. And that's fine. You can play with that uh, delay if you want to. Try to get it shorter and see if it works for you. So we can turn them off. We can change the colors. We can change the, uh, the color temperature. And then, of course, the brightness. Now, there is no, like toggle up the brightness, toggle down the brightness. It's just the, the button that you push has a preset brightness. So you just drag the little slider, you know, all the way up, all the way down or somewhere in the middle. And when you push that button, it'll go to that. So if you wanted multiple different brightnesses, then you'd have to have like maybe a, a button for high, medium and low, you know, for each one of your lights. And then you could do it that way. 
So it's a little bit different than like the Stream Deck or the, I'm sorry, it's a little bit different than like the Elgato lights here where you can actually toggle them, you know, up and down and uh, get them brighter and stuff like that. So it it's it could use some uh, improvement over the years. So maybe if Gobi, if you're watching or whoever made this, uh, this integration, then, uh, you know, go ahead and add that in. Now, in addition to those light bulbs, I did pick up a couple of these light strips like this one here. And same thing, you can turn them on, you can change the colors, uh, you can change the brightness, that kind of stuff. Now, in the app, there's a lot more control for this. And speaking of the app, it's probably one of the easiest um, systems that I've set up. You know, adding all the different bulbs, adding all the different products, and getting them set up. It was really quick and easy. I'm pretty impressed with, with how Gobi does that. And by the way, this is not sponsored by Gobi. I bought all this stuff myself. So this is all my personal opinions on it. But in the app, you can control, since this is the RGBIC and not just RGB. RGB means all of these are going to be the same color. RGBIC means that you can have different colors along the way. So to control that, you can go into the app and you can actually control you know, each segment of lights, what color you want them to be. With the Stream Deck, then you can just basically turn them on, turn them off, turn them to, you know, preset color, and that would be, the whole thing would be blue or green or red, whatever you change it to. You can't go in and change, like, a, a scene. So again, that's another thing that, if we can get that in the plugin, that would be awesome, to where you could pre-program this to have a certain scene to it, and then push that button and it would do that. That would be great. Now, in addition to this and the light bulbs, I also grabbed a pack of these guys. And these are completely controllable from the Stream Deck also. Now, you can't change the color of them, of course, but you can turn these on and off. So if you have some device that plugs into the wall that would otherwise have no smart, smart capability, then now at least you can turn it on and off. So I'll give you an example right here. So you've seen this on the channel before. I've done a, a review on this Vivitar light and it's kind of big, so let me find a spot for it. So this thing right here, it's got an app of its own, but uh, you know, every time I want to turn it on and off, I have to find the right app in the phone. Sometimes I remember it's called Vivitar, sometimes I don't. But sometimes I just want to turn it on or turn it off. And at least you can do that with this because basically when I hit this button here, it's just sending a command to that little power plug and it says hey turn on buddy and it turns on and then you hit the button again and it turns off so this is uh, pretty cool this pack of four was pretty darn cheap they make the round ones like this which are like good for 10 amps and then they've got more of a traditional looking rectangular one which is good for up to 15 amps but for anything that I'm gonna be plugging into these guys they're not going to draw more than 10 amps anyways. So this pack of four was pretty cheap. It was under 30 bucks. And now I can have, you know, four different devices in here and at least be able to turn them on, turn them off. So this plugin is nothing that's brand new. It's been there for a while, but it is something that was new to me because I didn't, I had some Gobi products, but I really haven't even thought about controlling them from the Stream Deck before. But once I figured out you could, then I wanted to test out a bunch of different things. And so far, I'm, I'm really happy. The only thing that hitched me up was before I put the delay in these, then you would hit the button and maybe one light would turn on or one light would turn off. So putting that delay in there, that obviously fixed that problem. Now, one more thing to know about using the, the plugin is you have to have an API key from Gobi. So when you install the plugin, it'll give you some directions on how to do that. But basically, you just have to send a little, you know, request to Gobi saying you need an, a developer's API, and they ask you why. Just say, hey, I want to control this stuff from the Stream Deck, and they're going to send you back a string of text that you're just going to copy and paste into your Stream Deck software, and that's going to connect it. And that's how, when you go and load these buttons up, it knows which of these bulbs is which. It knows all the products that you have installed in your app. And I did that last night. I sent the thing, and within like 5-10 minutes, I had a response from them with the, uh, the API key. So it was really quick and easy. So that's basically it for this video. I just wanted to show you guys, just in case you didn't know, that you can control all kinds of nifty smart home stuff from your Stream Deck. 
maybe there's some products that you have that that aren't Gobi. Search for the uh, plugin in the Stream Deck, you know, library and see if it's out there. But like I said, none of these products here were, were given to me. I purchased them all out of pocket. So uh, I will have links down in the description below for this kind of stuff. In case you do want to pick some up, uh, I'll give a, an Amazon link. And if you do buy it from there, then heck, I'll get a couple pennies from it. Even if you don't buy it from there, if you buy anything else from Amazon, I'll get a couple pennies from that. And I do appreciate that. That helps me keep on buying the stuff to test it out. So that's going to wrap it up for this video. Hope you liked it. If you did, I appreciate that thumbs up. If you like this kind of stuff and want to see more, check out the rest of my videos. And if you like what you see, go ahead and hit that subscribe button too. But thank you as always for watching. And until next time, peace out and geek out.